It's a traffic nightmare along Highway 1 and the Willingdon area has finally come to an end. After eight hours of closure, we check in with Greg Harper live along Highway 1 for the good news. Greg? Good morning, Jody. Yes, finally, Highway 1 here in Burnaby open in uh, both directions. Uh, it was closed in both directions for hours after an early earlier morning accident involving this uh, diesel truck, which was uh, towed away uh, just before uh, 8 o'clock uh, this morning. It was involved earlier in a two-vehicle crash just before uh, 1 a.m., and it, it took crews a while uh, to get this truck upright again. It was on its side for uh, most of the, uh, the morning here. Part of the challenge was to get all the diesel out of it. There was about 12,000 liters of diesel that had to, 12,000 liters that had to be uh, drained from it before they could figure out on how to get it uh, upright again. So here's a look at uh, traffic now flowing in, in both directions. Uh, we were staring at an empty uh, highway uh, for most of the morning here. The Burnaby Fire Department uh, was working very hard uh, to get Highway 1 reopened as soon as possible. We had a two-car collision. A uh, tanker truck rolled over and struck another vehicle, uh, which has been removed. There's always a risk for uh, hazardous materials like this to uh, cause into combustion, uh, explosion, that type of thing. Diesel isn't as volatile as gasoline, but there still is an inherent danger with it. So the accident itself, that's being investigated. We are hearing the uh, driver of the diesel truck uh, was taken to hospital but uh, suffered uh, only minor injuries. Now, I mentioned uh, there was 12,000 litres of diesel they had to drain uh, from this uh, tanker truck. About 200 litres did make it onto the roadway, but according to the Burnaby Fire Department, it did not make it into the uh, storm drains or into the waterway. So that is good news. Also good news, Jody, Highway 1 open in both directions once again here in Burnaby. Jody? Nice to top the news with a good news story finally at the 8 o'clock hour. Thanks, Greg.